hey y'all before we do this let's go check scrappy i gave him another rib bone had a good bit of meat on it how was that scrappy he doesn't stay out here much with me like melvin he he feels like outdoors is a punishment or something <laughs> you know he's from a different world man uh so i don't i don't try to make him but i know he'd love it if he'd just try but anyway when i brought that fucking rib bone he started loving it anyway so i want him close in case he chokes you know so i can you know i don't give him many bones but occasionally i do he's a fucking dog he likes them uh anyway here we are okay where are we at this is the uh neck refinishing and refretting project today i sanded it uh with the four alt steel steel wool that's as smooth a piece of wood as you'll ever feel y'all and no it's not dirty but it sounded dirty so take it as you will and the next thing was to try to put uh my first frets in okay i don't have a fret press and i'm winging it but as you see now there's fucking files and dremels out and like everybody watch out when the dremel comes out but what i've done this one it let me hammer it in with like a jeweler's hammer uh watch tools kit i have uh, but i realized it wasn't really all the way in and then uh, two more would not so i thought fuck i'm gonna have to press them so i don't have a real press but look now, of course, the ends aren't final dressed yet. It'll be, there's a long way to go before that, but they were so sharp when I nipped them with my nippers that I had to take the sharp edges off. I made myself a jig, a fret jig, and it's not exactly the shape, but it's damn close, way closer than not. <laughs> way closer than a straight line is what i'm saying because the you know there is a i forget the exact angle or or radius of the curve on the top of the fretboard anyway so uh you know we're winging it so what i did on this first one i wanted to make a jig so i could actually get a good clamp and something and then really clamp the shit out of them I started with my little vise and I put the jig in it like this, put the neck in and then crank it. You know, it's a press now. You know what I'm saying? Crank it. I was cranking without showing you, you know, crank. It's a press. Anyway, cover it up the, uh, anyway, we've been sanding with the round thing pencils out that's always a good day here's the demon death machine stay away from my guitar please uh but we did what we had to do so far and the first thread is in so today was to try to find out how hard that's going to be and if i can even do it the answer as i knew was pretty damn hard what am i doing but guess what? I can do it. A lot of dumber people than me have been doing this kind of stuff forever. And that's just me with a file so far on the ends. Trying not to fuck the wood up. But it was so sharp, man. I had to, you know, I was going to be bleeding everywhere. When they all get in and nipped, it'll get taped. And then some, some, really some edge. I've already eased the edge of the wood. But then I'll come back with the... A sander thing and try to get all the frets kind of equal and you know anyway so that's where we're at today so peace out red scrap where you at buddy come on here's scrappy come on buddy flowers tomorrow i think peace out